Heads up, while most of my content is family friendly and suitable for all ages, Phoenix Wright Trials and Tribulations is a game that has been rated T by the ESRB rating system, and as such the videos in this Let's Play are likely to contain mild blood and or violence possibly at the same time. So viewer discretion is advised. Previously on Phoenix Wright Trials and Tribulations, because Marty and I last recorded this like two weeks ago because we both weeks ago. three weeks ago because we both got sick and we're like <laughs> 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 I still might be, so we'll see Anyhow, how that goes. Just a quick recap. We're playing in Mia Fey's second trial. Uh she's yeah. defending Phoenix Wright, who is accused of got, electrocuting uh, what, a British wannabe uh, <laughs> I forgot uh, I was guy. Like, I forgot he was electrocuted. He uh it was wow. rain day. Uh Phoenix pushed him down, he broke his umbrella. But not falling uh, on him, the umbrella flew the other direction. So he was and, alive and, afterwards. And there's a girl. There's a girl. <laughs> there's a girl <laughs> this time. <laughs> <laughs> yes, exactly. Oh, and uh, Phoenix is cold medicine. He also got sick. Yep, uh, yep. He got sick. Maybe stolen. that's maybe that's why we got sick. We were playing this game. <laughs> oh, Phoenix like I sneezing like crazy. Again. Yeah, but we're on part <laughs> one two, the trial of Turnabout Memories. Yeah. I'm a little nervous because uh, what's uh, the Phoenix Wright's girlfriend, ex-girlfriend? No, girlfriend. Current girlfriend, Current victim's ex-girlfriend. Ex victim's ex-girlfriend. I don't know how the heck I'm going to voice her. We'll just, I, just, uh, I have I to think, see I, her. I think you'll figure it out okay. pretty quickly. I'll have to see her All right. and then figure April it out. April 11th, 12, 13 p.m., District oh, Court number two. Phoenix Wright, are you dating a douchebag? Wow, okay, I might have I to censor know. that. There is it. <laughs> Court will now reconvene. Mr. Payne, please call your witness. This next person is someone who witnessed the crime as it happened. Wow. The prosecution calls Miss Dahlia Hawthorne to the stand. Oh boy. Oh my gosh! <laughs> She's like, I can't tell if she- Anime okay, stereotype? No. A anime stereotype mixed with, um, remember wheelchair dude that had the birds that were just like- Acro? Oh. Yeah, acro, <laughs> it's a little like that too. <laughs> What's with this stiff silence? In my long career as a judge, I have been deceived by many witnesses. It's my job to doubt, to take no one at their word. But in your case, I must admit that you radiate a glow of complete sincerity. I can't believe he actually said that. <laughs> oh, um, uh, now that I'm done sweating, witness, uh, <laughs> could, could you please state your full name? Oh gosh, I gotta think about this. I, um... Don't worry, sweetie, there's no need to be nervous. If anyone says anything rude, you can be sure I'll cut them right wow. down to size. And I will bash them with my gavel. This is, I love how they look straight at me when they say that. <laughs> well, you are the defense attorney, and it is the witness. The witness who is like, no one was there at the scene of the crime. The witness who was there can attest to the fact. I just realized. What? She's got her Magatama on, around her neck. Yeah, she does. Because remember, she was a spirit channel. Yeah, as well. but I didn't realize you could wear that to the trial. <laughs> they're not like, what is this witchcraft? <laughs> no, but they, I just think it might be like, why are you wearing a weird necklace? It's my favorite one! <laughs> okay. Mia's just walking Mia's into court. Uh, Judge Claude Frollo is just like, witchcraft. <laughs> <laughs> uh, thank you for calming my nerves. You were all so nice. I almost feel right at home. Not at all. It was nothing. We may move on now. What is your full name and occupation? My name is Dahlia Hawthorne. I'm a junior at liter in li at literature. At literature in uh <laughs> I almost said at literature university. I'm a junior in literature at, at Ivy University. I just want to say it's an honor for me to be here in your noble presence. The honor is all mine! No, the honor is all mine. Well, we know whose milkshake brings all the boys to the yard. Ho <laughs> Um, sir. Is there something I can help you with? You go on and say whatever it is on wow. your mind. Fun fact, both of those, uh, Payne and the judge are married. <laughs> uh -huh. So this is all, this is ultra weird. Also, she's like 19. Uh-huh. Very creepy. Wait, no, she'd be like 20. No, she's she's a junior. I think she's... Oh, she's a junior in I university. I gotta check that. Junior in university. Oh, she'd be 20. Yeah, 20. Yeah, she could have been an early bloomer. She could have, she could have done like the, the clep classes. <laughs> the clep classes. <laughs> just started a uh, community, not community college. Um, dual enrollment. That, that yeah. wasn't a thing though back in the day. <laughs> this takes. Oh, keep in mind, Phoenix Wright One takes place in 2016. This is two years after that, and then this is five years prior, so three years ago. So this is 2013 when this case is taking place. Wow. 
I'm only <laughs> seven years younger than her then. That's weird. I'm sure there must have been some kind of mistake. Feeny wouldn't giggle anyone, I just know it. Yes, yes. Wait. I can see why you'd say that. Wait. That's what she calls Phoenix, right? <laughs> Feeny, yeah. Feeny, that's funny. She's going to be a tough witness, all right. It only took her 12 seconds to wrap them all around her little finger. Now then, please proceed with your testimony. Probably the same thing, actually, for Phoenix. Didn't he, like, meet her in the lobby and he was like, Wow! She's pretty! Wow! <laughs> so, basically. But but she also thought he was pretty, so... Oh, well, that, that can happen. <laughs> it's like, I th uh, How I Met Your Mother did an episode on that where it's like, if two people are into each other, like, then, like, one person can, like, make, like, the romantic move. And, like, it's, like, really cute and sweet. If yeah. one person, if the other person's not into them, them, it's really, really creepy, creepy instead. <laughs> Yeah, I forgot about that. Let's hear about what you witnessed on the day of the incident, if you please. I feel like I'm not doing her justice, but if what she I breaks witnessed. down, then it might be easier. No, you're doing a pretty good job. Okay. I had been planning to go back to Feeny's place after class was over. Feeny and Dougie, they were talking behind the building. <laughs> as you know, as you do. Then suddenly... Dougie got all wa I cannot do this. <laughs> this is just- this is so ridiculous. Like, this is my- this is what I saw. They're just talking! <laughs> just yeah, he's falls like, over. Oh. It's like Gary and Gary's game. <laughs> <laughs> he's like losing his chest so he fakes the heart attack. Yeah. And suddenly Dougie got all wobbly and just collapsed. That's when Feeny noticed that I was there. I went to go and find some other students, and they called the authorities. Why didn't you, you know, call the police? She... Well, she she literally immediately found other people, like, Hey, this happened, and then oh. the police were called. Oh. According to her. According well, to her. Uh, that that may be theory. Uh, I don't know what to say. According to you, Miss Hawthorne, the defendant didn't do anything wrong. Hey, she's actually kind of helping us out. Young lady, as old as I am, even I recall how hot the flames of young passion can burn. <laughs> Do tell. What a smooth talker. I want this backstory. <laughs> Nevertheless, it is my job to discover the truth. I... more. My name isn't Prosecutor Toad. Hello! Hello! <laughs> Please tell us the truth. But... but I... I would never... That's more than enough, witness. I won't allow this to continue. What, what do you mean by that? Please, just let me proceed with my cross-examination, Your Honor. I, for one, don't plan to win my case on a bunch of paper-thin lies. <laughs> you haven't changed a bit, Mia Fey. Is she no person? <laughs> <laughs> What's this? So you two are acquainted? Yes, we've met before, once. Now I'm just curious. <laughs> Did like was there another murder trial? Wait, there was that there was that trial court record, court record. I forgot about this. There was the, yeah, newspaper, the newspaper clipping. It was like, oh no, this maybe that was the maybe she was in that incident that like Mia's like, oh, I have to get over this and reclaim my name and honor. <laughs> when did this <laughs> turn into Mulan? No, Zuko. <laughs> Zuko you must on. look within yourself. Only then will you choose the <laughs> Look, it's your, your honor! honor. <laughs> <laughs> it runs out. Um, yeah, police are questioning the 19-year-old. Yeah. Okay, that's why I thought she was 19. Oh, she was sitting okay. with the guy who got poisoned in the court house uh, well, six months ago. Well, maybe. Allegedly. Allegedly. <laughs> so, okay, so she was... Um, at least questioned in there. I don't know if she was accused. We, we don't necessarily know it's her. We know it was a 19-year-old female college student. It's and that was the exact same day. sister! And that was the exact same day that Phoenix Wright bumped into her in the courtroom. <laughs> like, why, well, Prairie? It's her twin sister removed twice. How does that even work? <laughs> I don't know. Maybe... I don't even know. Okay. Maybe it's like... You know how if you have, like, two... Okay, it could be, like, Luke and Leia. Where like they, they were siblings separated and then like yeah separated at birth, but they look the same. I don't know, maybe not. <laughs> yeah, because Luke and Leia look the same. <laughs> <laughs> well, they, they look similar. Image. They have the same hair color. No, they don't. Luke has like blonde hair. She's got like you know 
Brown hair. He has brown hair. He does? I thought he had blonde it's hair. It's like dirty blonde. Oh, it's basically. like dirty blonde, yeah. Yeah. Uh, In <laughs> any case, Miss <laughs> Faye, the floor is all yours. <laughs> it's good to see you again, Madame Faye. Madame? No one's grandma yet, girly. <laughs> We're gonna get through one testimony. Like, what? That's all no, the time I have for today. Oh, what I witnessed. I had been planning to go back to <laughs> you, Phoenix That was place. the fastest you ever abandoned a voice. <laughs> no. I was wondering if you'd like do Dahlia like, Oh, hey guys. Hey guys. I'm chain smoke Dahlia. <laughs> <laughs> that would be terrible. Would I, terrible. I would actually be like, no, that's not her Now, voice. unless I'm mistaken, Phoenix, I mean, um, Mr. Wright is in the art department. If that's the case, then what were you doing behind the pharmacology building? Well, I'm in the literature department. I'm studying Japanese Senryu poetry. Do you have Ooh. any idea what that is? Senryu? Yeah, it's um, it's like a specific writing. I, was it like samurai period? I don't know well, exactly what it is. Sen Senryu. In, in the Japan version, she was studying American Senryu poetry. <laughs> <laughs> As you do, apparently. Oh, 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 how wonderful. It's that humorous yet satirical oh, it's, style okay, it's of haiku, haiku yes. Nothing left to do. When a man reaches this age, sleep is his best friend. Now all I can think of is like that soccer thing where he's like, yeah. now I can do it with my boomerang. Is that like a third Avatar <laughs> reference in ten minutes? <laughs> because it's haiku! What else are you supposed to do when you do haiku? You do a haiku rap battle. That, that Emperor's New School episode. I don't remember Emperor's oh, New School. It was like one of the few funny parts where like, Cusco's like, I can't believe this homework, we have to write a haiku. Like, what the heck? And like, like they're Cusco, it's not that big of a deal. And like, all the time he's complaining about it, he's constantly complaining. In haikus oh, that's kind of funny. <laughs> that's supposed to be poetry? Sounds more like a midlife crisis. I'm with Mia. I don't really like poetry. For me to get to the art department, I have to walk through that back area. Ah, yes, I see. That makes sense. When I want to enter the courthouse, I always walk through the front doors. How else would you enter? Teleportation? That'd be sweet. Fini and Dougie are talking behind the building. <laughs> it sounds like Oscar the Grouch a smidge. So who's this Dougie person? <laughs> hey lady, I hate Christmas. <laughs> Get me out of here, Maria. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. Doug Swallow. We were dating until about eight months ago. <laughs> till about eight months ago. I wonder why! Was it because Eight she- months ago. Well, but I was wondering, like, is, what, is it like, oh, she was rumored to be the one who poisoned him, and then she's like, I don't want to be with a girl who poisoned another man! If so, that would be terrible, because that means on that day they were still dating, and then she immediately was like, ooh, Phoenix! Heck yeah! <laughs> <laughs> who knows? Well, or maybe it could have been, like, problems, but obviously the dude was like, no, I'm fine, man, you don't want to be with this girl, she's crazy. Maybe, maybe, <laughs> she's crazy. She's crazy. Uh, maybe- Don't say and that. I know, I know. Maybe, I don't know. I'm gonna censor that. <laughs> wow. <laughs> no. What will we know? Uh, what were Dougie, <clears throat> uh, Mr. Swallow and Mr. Wright talking about anyway? How can you be so mean? I would never, I would never eavesdrop. I wasn't raised to be so rude and unrefined. That's right, Miss Faye. Uh, Don't you... drag the witness down to your level. <laughs> wow. Okay, if you are watching two people talk, you're already eavesdropping. Like, you might as well just hear what they're saying. Especially if they're talking about you. What about you, you Arthur? Arthur? Why am I being d demonized here? Please go on. What did you see next? I kind of want to hear about it. And that. suddenly, Dougie got all wobbly and just collapsed. <laughs> She's gone through like five different voices. Are you saying that the victim just collapsed on his own? I yes. In other words, the defendant never touched the victim, is that right? I was watching the whole time. Feeny never did a thing to Dougie. If I press her for no good reason, I just know the judge will get angry with me. Hmm, so what should I do about her testimony just now? <laughs> I mean, where's proof he got electrocuted, so... <laughs> I think. But there's more testimony to press. I don't know. I don't know the contradiction right now, but I bet we need contradiction. Right. Mm, I suppose her statement works in our favor for now. I'll hold off on looking into any deeper... Holding off, hold off looking into it any deeper until it's necessary. 
Very well, young lady. Please go on with your testimony. What if we're just like, no contradictions, Your Honor? Ta da! Not guilty. <laughs> that would be. That's all I need notice. Here's the deal, though. We. I already know that Phoenix Wright didn't kill him. I'm guessing she did. In some way or another. I don't know. He, what if he killed himself? Uh, that could be. Who knows? What did Mr. Wright say when he saw you? I'm sorry. I was so flustered that I. I really don't remember. Please forgive me. That's bogus. <laughs> Leo. You don't remember? Well, that's common enough. <coughs> Sometimes I can't recall a sentence I passed only minutes prior. Please, someone, anyone, stop him before he gets hurt by me. <laughs> I went to go and find some other students and they called the authorities. I hate Mia's voice, sorry. <laughs> when you say stu- mine or- No, hers? no, hers. When you say students, do you mean students from the pharmacology department? Yes, they're all very fond of their drugs. What? What? <laughs> what? <laughs> Hashtag out of context. That That's gonna be the fun name. <laughs> no, I do custom thumbnails yeah. for this. Uh, okay. <laughs> I just want us to savor this. <laughs> they're all very fond of their drugs. They were all willing to come out here and help me. <laughs> yeah, it's like too tall in this game where they take happy pills in that one book. <laughs> the bears the bears no drugs allowed. Or the drug free zone. They did? I never <laughs> read that book. Neither did I, but the Amazon reviews for it were great. Oh my gosh. Please try to stay on topic. <laughs> Mia's talking to us right there. <laughs> so, to find the- to find some pharmacology students, you went to the labs, correct? That's what I was planning to do, but in the end I wound up not going. A group of about ten research students came running out of the building entrance. Well, maybe they were running an experiment and they were like, wait, I think the wire just broke and they like and they started running the out and they killed the guy. Their science project was a death ray. They were no! Like, Sweet! It works! No, but like you had to have an electric current yeah. going through the wire, so maybe they were like, let's try using this electric current to <laughs> And then maybe we could go to the box. golf mid range and fix some virtual balls. <laughs> <laughs> Wow! <laughs> Wally reference. <laughs> Somehow they all seemed to know what was going on. Death Ray, I'm telling you. The students knew what was going on. We uh, press for more details. But how could the students have known what was going on? Well, I don't know for sure that they knew what had happened. It's just, they all seemed kind of excited about something. Whoa! Somebody died! Woo! It's, it's all those drugs. Somebody once told me <laughs> that they are gonna die. Mm, doesn't look like I'm going to get any more info about the students. So did the students call the police? Y yes. I was just so, so panicked. Hmm. Yes, well, anyone would have been, my dear. That girl, she's telling a super obvious lie and she knows it. She's just pretending to protect Mr. Wright. Yes, that's gotta be it. Way to go, Mia. Okay, that means I'm going to have to dig deep to find the contradiction on this one. Well, let's go back to that. Well, which is it, Mia? Is it super obvious or do you have to dig deep for it? You gotta dig, dig deeper. What? Oh, that's a Princess and the Frog. Sorry. Oh, I don't remember that song. Yeah. Well, the only press. song I remember from that is I Got Friends on the Other Side. That is literally the one song I don't know. She's got Do it. friends on the other side. Feeble lies are not very becoming, Miss Hawthorne, so let's drop them, shall we? W what? I. I would never. Miss Faye, I will not allow you to badger this witness. Well, guess what? <laughs> I, I believe the defense is engaged in a. a Fishing expedition. That is, uh, she has no supporting. <laughs> please don't glare at me like that. I'm just doing my job. So am I. Now then, Miss Hawthorne. The defendant's paw, a paw print. <laughs> <laughs> He's a dog. He's a dog. He was cosplaying well, okay. as Clifford. I have never seen oh, the word palm print. Palm print. I've seen like fingerprint. Hand print. Hand print. Hand print is what is usually Hand used. Hand print. Palm print was found on Mr. Swallow's leather jacket. It has already been shown that Mr. Wright did, in fact, push the victim. What? There's no need to try to cover for the defendant. It would be much better if you came out and told us the whole truth. Hmm. 
There's nothing to worry about, young lady. Just tell us everything that you saw. Yes, Your Honor, I will. If you don't mind, I'd like to revise my testimony. That's okay, every witness does that! <laughs> Even though there's no penalty! Looks like we're finally getting somewhere. Um, actually, I didn't see the moment he pushed Dougie. Hold <laughs> But you were eavesdropping. You didn't see it?! <laughs> well, I saw the moment when Dougie fell to the ground. And at that time, there was only the two of them at the scene. The defendant, Phoenix Wright, and the victim, Doug Swallow. Yes, that's right. It didn't look like they were fighting, and I didn't hear any noise either. Oh, bogus! <laughs> so then, what did it look like what they were doing to you? I thought they were having a nice, friendly afternoon conversation. And, you know, punching no. people. <laughs> <laughs> you made it sound like it's like, fire off! <laughs> It's like Street Fighter then beating up the car in that yeah. one stage. Hey, Riot! <laughs> Riot! That's the fourth <laughs> Avatar reference! Avatar is great! Okay, I got Avatar for Christmas and I haven't watched it yet. They're this all the seasons, but I'm excited. On Blu-ray! On Blu-ray! Oh, give me a break. Blu-ray's not that great. <laughs> That's why I really wasn't watching them all that closely. Did you notice anything out of the ordinary at all? No, nothing at all, Mr. Judge. Oh, I like the sound of that, Mr. Judge. Now then, please proceed with your testimony. Mr. Judge. Went to go find all right, some so students. These are the two new statements. So you're like, bogus. There was, there was noise. I'm pretty sure. Didn't there, wasn't there like a loud crash? Okay, if you have electric shock, first of all, that would cr trigger a noise. Two, the umbrella broke, which would also trigger a noise. Me, me. The umbrella found broken at the electrical scene. There was a loud yeah, sound yeah. when it happened. Look so... at that! Yeah, yeah. Take that! <laughs> <laughs> Wrong the voice clip. You say you didn't hear any noise, is that correct? Yes, that's why I was very relaxed, looking at the scenery around me. Like the butterflies that follow you. Flip. That's nice, but I find that just a little odd. I have here the testimony of your boyfriend, Mr. Phoenix Wright. And he is clearly testified to the effect. That when he pushed the victim, he heard a sharp, loud noise. He said that? If you were really that close to the two of them, why didn't you hear this noise as well? I... Well, maybe the noise just wasn't all that memorable. Oh, you know, a loud crash. But according to Mr. Wright's testimony, it was a sharp noise like a snap. <laughs> like Von Karma just going... <laughs> <laughs> We're about that. There's no way a noise like that could fail to make an impression. Yeah! She literally looks like Bo Peep. Um, may I have a moment to answer? B by all means. I know the reason. Why I didn't hear the noise! Her theme music. You see, the truth is, I had my headphones on and I was listening to music. You are absolutely ridiculous. Okay. What's wrong with wearing headphones? I. F look at her. D does she look like someone who would be wearing headphones? She looks like she hopped out of she Toy could, Story. She could get the, the Ahmed Khan headphones. Those ones, but it would ruin her hair. She's got the weird braid things. Maybe she didn't have the braid things that day. Maybe not. <laughs> headphones? You mean that both of your ears were covered? It would have had to been noise canceling. The rain was just beginning to let up. But it seems as though Thor wasn't ready for his fun to come to an end yet. So the sky continued to flash and rumble. Thunder and lightning, huh? Yes, I'm afraid of the sound of thunder. So I put my headphones on to block it out. That's You're not gonna block- 20 years old. That's not gonna block it out either. I do know people who are afraid of thunder. And, and stuff, but there are different ways to, for, I don't know. Okay. Headphones are not going to cut like, it, I mean, unless you have noise I, I, there I had some friends as, as, as a child that would didn't like the sound of it, yeah. and I feel like that's something you outgrow eventually. Usually. But maybe, maybe not. Yeah, one of my friends has not outgrown it, but that's like the one thing for her. Like, she will handle anything else. Okay. But like, Everyone's allowed to have like, like nope. the one or two weird things. Like hiding <laughs> under the couch with the pillow or whatever. Oh, but, okay. Yeah. We, we Put my headphones names. on to block it out. <laughs> <laughs> well, Your Honor, what do you think of my toupee? As you can see, Terrible. there weren't any contradictions in her testimony after all. Um, 
literally just added that. Wait a second, Mia. That testimony just now. She said something that could totally change this whole case. <laughs> she was listening to music. <laughs> she was, like I said earlier, if, if there was lightning, <laughs> the guy got struck by lightning. It's, uh... it's the real villain was Zeus. Yeah, I was about to say Zeus. She didn't Sorry, hear anything. Are you like, well, there was lightning? Well, if she was listening to music, that doesn't make any, like, whatever. You're listening to music. You didn't hear anything. That literally, that's what she's saying. She's like, I didn't hear anything. <laughs> so I think it's lightning. It is. Let's see who the others know. <laughs> Your Honor, there's a problem with the witness's testimony. W what do you mean? W what is this problem? It's obvious. The problem is that the witness claims to have not heard the snap. Uh, are you deaf? Did you pay attention to the testimony? She said she didn't hear it because she was listening to music with her headphones. Miss Faye, I'm surprised you're going senile before me. I'm not that bad, I think. Well, the testimony we've just heard seems to be very decisive. The only one that could have killed the victim was the defendant, Mr. Phoenix Wright. No! Please! I never meant to incriminate him! This is bad, Mia. If you don't do something, we're going to lose this. Think again. What is it about this testimony that doesn't make sense? She said something that could totally change the whole thing. <laughs> oh, boy. Your Honor, there is a problem with the witness's testimony. Oh, okay. Oh, oh what do you mean? <laughs> Clearly, this isn't going to be another dumb decision. <laughs> what, what is this problem? It's obvious. The problem is that she claims to have been listening to music. Uh, are you deaf? Did you pay attention to the testimony? Wait, is this the same thing? Maybe. She explained she was listening to music to cover up the sound of thunder. Miss Faye, are you mocking people who are afraid of the sound of thunder? I must <laughs> warn you, I can be even more frightening than Zeus when I'm angry. Yikes, I'm in trouble now. Oh well, <laughs> we can just save state back. Your Honor, there is a problem with the witness's testimony. W what do you mean? Didn't you notice? She said that there was lightning, correct? Yes, what about it? Well, lightning is actually a large discharge of electricity in the atmosphere, am I right? Now is not the time for a science lesson, Miss Fay. Yes, Your Honor. Anyway, since the cause of death was electrocution, isn't it possible that the victim died from being hit by a bolt of lightning? Oh! Ah! <gasps> I mean, it's possible, it's just incredibly hmm. rare. I must admit that the thought had not occurred to me. Just what kind of thoughts do occur to this guy anyway? This entire case is built on the premise that Mr. Doug Swallow was murdered. But that very premise itself is mistaken. The defense believes that Mr. Swallow was, in fact, the victim of a stray bolt. I mean, that's incredibly rare. Like, you'd have to be under a tree, holding on to, like, a metal umbrella, me a metal umbrella with magnets. <laughs> <laughs> Not in your car. Sure. <laughs> it appears the defense may be onto something. Could it be that the death was actually accidental? Could right, you did it, Mia. I'll be taking that not guilty now if you. Mr. Payne's like, it's super hard to get electrocuted! <laughs> I'm hurt that you have such a low opinion of me, Miss Fay. Huh? You are the first prosecutor. That's true. I'm not a fool, you know. The prosecution has done its research, Your Honor. That's a first. Wow. <laughs> this is coming from the guy who's like, this guy fell from a cliff, broke his neck, snapped his vertebrae, got instantly paralyzed, and died immediately. <laughs> Clearly he wrote this message in this hand. <laughs> With the wrong hand, hand, spelling his girlfriend's name incorrectly. <laughs> <laughs> We found that there were no lightning strikes on that day at that location. What? What's more, we have evidence that the electrical cable is definitely linked to this case. Well, maybe the lightning hit the electrical cable. Uh, uh, evidence, Mr. Payne? Wait. What is this evidence? Is this going to be another lot of shot her gun to shoot a gun to <laughs> fire her cameras to, and the guy had a firecracker no, on the boat? No, I'm saying, <laughs> how low was the electrical wire? This would be, again, the worst building in the history of the world for, like, universities. <laughs> But I'm wondering, was it like, oh, Phoenix pushed him into the electrical, like, into the electrical wires as lightning hits it, and that's what makes it, like, go cut, makes it cut, and then all the people, and there's windows, and then all the people inside are like, whoa, <laughs> let's go check that out. <laughs> I don't know. No, it's not like <laughs> shooting off her gun to shoot off the camera. No. Evidence, Mr. Payne? Well, what is this evidence? 
This affidavit. What? And who is this affidavit from? The pharmacology students who were conducting experiments in their labs that day. Cool. Allow me to read out to the court the testimony of the pharmacology students. Well, this students. is written by all of them. All equipment in the labs lost power all of a sudden at around 3 p.m. that day. Yeah. What, was it a blackout? When was the death occurring? All of the lab's equipment runs on high voltage, Your Honor. So you're saying the equipment lost power because... Precisely. They lost power because of the severed electrical cable. The power outage occurred at approximately 3 p.m. Okay, there are so many other things that could cause power outages. Like living where we are, where we just get power outages. But... I don't know, like, if lightning strikes or there's a thunderstorm, it could just be like, oh, whoops, I guess the power's not working today. Well, what you do? Gonna do. Which fits with the time of death listed in the autopsy report. Exactly! In other words, the victim died as a result of touching the severed electrical cable. Well, that's fine, I guess. According to the students, the cables were very old. They were planning on having them replaced in the near future. Okay, that's helpful. Hmm. Like... I but see. I don't know how easy it is to cut. I'm thinking about this. How easy would it be to cut one of these electrical wire poles? Is it like when you're doing an experiment in like chemistry or in, I don't Pharmacology know. Pharmacology class. Sure. And you're <laughs> like, but like, you know how there's like, don't touch the bare wires, but they're like this thin. <laughs> or is it like, you know, this thick. And because I'm trying to they're think. Thick. Okay. Because <laughs> I'm like, maybe the umbrella is like. Got, you know how, like, when an umbrella is, like, starting to break, like, the thing pops out and it's, like, yes. all jagged? Maybe, yes. like, he threw the victim onto it with the umbrella and the umbrella cut it and then it was, like... Then he'd be guilty. Well, yeah. But what I'm saying, like, it could be... But that's what happened. Also, when you're, like, do you, like, just touch two bare wires? I just thought of the fox truck. I'm, like, oops, sorry, go flat. Oops, sorry. Yeah. Basically. Apparently, the cables had become so brittle that even the smallest bump would have caused them to break. How were they still allowed to use them? I was about to say- Don't they have to pass, like, regular safety inspections? Yeah, that's what I was about to say. That's <laughs> terrible. Even- And also, how would you know- Oh, oh, uh, even the smallest bump- Because somebody break. bumped a different cable and died from that, and they're just like, Oh, maybe we should do something about that. Eventually. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Student's Student's testimony testimony. This is a record. terrible testimony. <laughs> However, there is one thing that troubles me. Really? Just one? one? Not anything that we just learned about it being, like, really weak and fragile? <laughs> if the cable could have been broken by any small bump, then it wouldn't have snapped if it hadn't been bumped into, correct? W well, I suppose you could say that. Hmm, Miss How is Faye? all of the electricity running on this small cable? Not it's cable. not a small cable. Okay, how is it working on this brittle wire <laughs> that if you bump into it, all the power goes out? Why didn't <laughs> they fix no, this? No. This is a college. No, this is a university. My bad. University. University. <laughs> so, wow. Do you have any thoughts regarding the cause of the severed cable or the pronunciation of university? Uh, yeah. Your Honor. We're in America. It's university. <laughs> I don't like how this is looking one bit. I have to come up with something to try to regain some momentum. If it pleases the court, the defense would like to state its opinion. It doesn't please us, but you may. <laughs> well then, let's hear it. Who or what is it that caused the cable to break? Maybe it was the umbrella. Could be. The umbrella was flown, like, flown. This isn't That was your idea, where like, it, it it's... flew, like, the umbrella was... He pushed him, but the umbrella flew to the other side, so maybe and that's what it cut the cable. Cut the cable. Want to try that? Yeah. All right. Take that. This is it. This is why the cable snapped. Well, Your Honor. No. I believe that the only thing that has snapped is the mind. Of wow! The I had a great. That was a great strategy. Ah, uh, that was one of your best lines yet, Your Honor. Look at me kiss your butt. Wow. <laughs> oh, that was harsh. Please, Your Honor. Give me one more chance. Very well. We're still at the time of the game where we're not penalizing you for doing stupid errors. That, that wasn't a stupid error, though. Okay. It was the cold medicine. It was medicine. the stu Maybe the previews would be interesting. interesting. <laughs> he was Dolly. jealous of Dolly, so he ripped off the necklace and chucked it. it. And that's what caused the cable. <laughs> honestly, that would be Phoenix right. I could see it being the cold killer X, honestly. Like, I know it's it not that. It was in the victim's hand, though. It was in his dead hand. Go long! Shh! <laughs> <laughs>
Shit, they're just... <laughs> they're playing a game of football now? No, we have cold no. medicine? <laughs> <laughs> I can't tell if this is the best be episode amazing. we've done or the worst episode we've done. It's probably the worst. Uh, go to profiles. Obviously. <laughs> Grossberg! <laughs> 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 I mean... Oh, well, that's a weird picture. <laughs> a little veteran lawyer with a little too much confidence. But it's snazzy green I too. mean, would it have to be Doug? You think I feel like if that's him the... getting pushed into it. But I feel like that would literally just prove what they were trying to say. Phoenix Ray. Well, we know Phoenix pushed him. Yeah. We know he, he did. Or what was it? Yeah, just get, you just give it a shot. This is it. This is why the cable snapped. Well, Your Honor. Wow. Wait, I actually thought that was the right thing. What? Well, we don't get penalized. That's fine. <laughs> I'm gonna let you off for that right. one. I thought that actually was the right thing. Yeah, let's try, try Phoenix, Phoenix Wright. Right. This idiot. Your Honor, please think back to Mr. Wright's testimony. The defendant's testimony? He said that after he pushed the victim, he heard a loud, sharp noise. Now, this happened at around 3 p.m., correct? Yes, that sounds right. Wait, are you saying that... The lab equipment lost power at 255, which fits right in Mr. Wright's timeline. In other words, it was Mr. Wright's shove that caused the power outage. Yeah. That's kind of bad, though. Yes, the prosecution also came to that same conclusion. And it was that very shove that caused Mr. Swallow to be electrocuted. I'm afraid I can't agree with you there, Mr. Payne. Oh, also, gotta ask, what do you think of the objection music? Oh. It's fine. Okay, this is my least favorite objection theme in the game. I don't or in like the series. It. It's <laughs> obviously in the game, yeah. but... And a lot of people are like, this is amazing, and it gets remixed in the future games. I'm like, really? Couldn't they remix, like, the original? Corner? Oh, they remix Corner, but... Okay. Well, well, what's that look supposed to mean? Take a good look at where the victim landed after being shoved. See the umbrella? It's by the electrical pole. That's right. The victim banged into the pole as a result of being pushed. It was that impact that caused the cable to break. Hmm. Well, that makes sense. And then the victim was electrocuted. I'm sorry, Your Honor, but no, it doesn't make any sense at all. If the victim was shoved into the far pole, then he couldn't have been electrocuted by the severed cable in the foreground here. Yeah! In other words, someone other than my client must have electrocuted the victim. You know, Dahlia, with, her, with her taser. Maybe I was right. The first, <laughs> the first one when I was talking, we were like taser. That could totally. I mean, I do encourage all young ladies to carry a, a, a taser. A, not necessarily a taser, but a, a weapon of like self defense. Yeah. If I traveling need a, alone. Please get me a pocket knife. <laughs> I know point. what to get you for your birthday: pepper spray, pocket knife, and taser. <laughs> Thank you for that. Don't mess with Marty, everybody. And I get <laughs> She's also a black belt in karate. And knows jujitsu. Oh <laughs> She's a, the boxing champion of Rydell High. <laughs> I wish. <laughs> Order in the court. Ah, the, lim the limitations of my enemy. How I long to hear them. It's true. The defense is absolutely correct. There doesn't seem to be any way the defendant could have done it. Um, Mr. Judge, sir, may I say something? Oh, I'm you're curious. still here? <laughs> See, I'm curious here because she made it sound like... <laughs> like, we <laughs> are... Um... All of these people just suddenly come out of nowhere. Like, what's that comic? The Sheldon like, comic. Sheldon comic, where it's like, where it's like oh yeah, to laugh. oh yeah, like, or it's like the guy in Wonderful Life, like, asks the girl, like, to like do like walk in her bare feet, and then like she like turns him down, and then immediately this huge group of people start surrounding and start laughing at him. It makes no sense. Right, it, it, that's kind of what it makes it sound like. But I wonder, did Mr. Wright leave immediately? Like. When when the all was said and done, like, did he have to wait for the police, or did he leave? Don't know. Because <laughs> what could happen is maybe... Well, this maybe he's like, ah, the police runs away, and then yeah. they're like, well, he's no, on it. That, and also maybe it was like... No, yeah, that's right, because he shoved him, he didn't get up, and then he was like, oh, I better come back later. And then yeah. comes back later and sees all these people around. Maybe Dahlia came by and was like... My work here is done! She <laughs> just like tased him and then was like, oh my gosh, people, the, the electrocution, oh! Keep in mind, if if that theory is true and Dahlia tased him, how 
powerful would that taser have to be? Like even Von Karma's Von Karma. didn't kill us. He almost did, but it didn't. Well, maybe maybe she like has another dude in the. She, she has a contact of his jets in the Palpatine. No power. power. <laughs> no, I'm thinking like the pharmacology students. Maybe she was like, hey, I don't know. Maybe like she maybe she has like. Maybe she's the ultimate, like, terrible person that has, like, two boyfriends, and she's like, hey, dude, come here, I need you to, I need you to help me I make a you, taser. I love how your definition of the ultimate evil is you have two boyfriends. No, well, I didn't want to say something terrible that would have oh, to be okay. censored. That's why. We're already gonna have to censor you saying douchebag. <laughs> maybe. No, actually, maybe. That's not really it. Actually, I think I called Matt Ongard a douchebag. I was about to say, I did. might censor that. Oh, okay. Well, I think the most intense thing that I did in the censor was when I called Red White a dick. <laughs> oh, yeah, I forgot <laughs> about that. <laughs> that it, it was deserved, though. The Madam Attorney's explanation. She said some things that are a little different than I remember, though. What? 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 What the? Oh, you know, I was just, I was there. Please, just once more. May I please testify one more time? Please, Mr. Judge? Five testimonies later. <laughs> of course it's all right. No. Just go ahead and give your new testimony. This would never slide through life. This is it. She's finally starting to show her true colors. True colors. And if that true isn't a true colors, blue miracle, I don't know what like one is. Rainbow. I, I think it's weird that this is like the one screen you can't save and quit on. So let's listen to the testimony then in the episode. The truth is, Finny pushed him twice. Twice? <laughs> 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 like Quite too much Smash Bros. <laughs> <laughs> we have it. The first time was into the electrical pole. That's when the cable broke. Then Dougie tried his best to run away from him. But Feeny caught up and crashed into him from behind. The cable snapped and Dougie be being electrocuted it all occurred in less than a minute. If that were the case, Phoenix Wright would have been electrocuted too. Also, I'm literally trying to think, it's like, uh, uh, like push, uh, uh, and then like, he starts running away and Phoenix like collides with him, then that would be electrocuting both of them. I just appreciate that the audience can't see what you're doing, so you're just, they're, they're just hearing, so then he's like, uh, and then, uh, 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 uh. Well, I was trying to make sounds, but it didn't quite work. You know, it's like when you see, um, what's his face from Back to the Future, like pushing the dude, like, oh, would you... What you gonna do? Uh, and, oh, look out, Biff, and like he trips him. <laughs> you mean Biff? <laughs> yeah, Biff. Biff when and Biff, Griff. When Biff, yeah. Yeah, when Biff like pushes people and then like he gets punched in the face. It might be something like that, who knows. Anyhow, anyway! <laughs> so after being shoved, shoved, the victim got up and tried to run away. And that is when the defendant pushed him for the second time. I'm so sorry, Feeney, but I, I just have to tell the truth. Am I doing the right thing? Am I, Mr. Judge? Of course you are, my dear. As painful as it may seem, you are. No, you're, no, you're not. Now then, Miss Faye, you may proceed with your cross-examination. Maybe Just next count time. all out. To quote, to quote Crom from when he was revealed, <laughs> maybe, <laughs> maybe next time. <laughs> <laughs> Anyhow, that's all the time we have for today. Thanks for watching, everybody. I This is my favorite episode of the series we've yeah, been recording. Definitely. Tune in next time. We get to... Uh, I was gonna say something bad. <laughs> Next time, <laughs> we're going to question Dahlia some more. Okay. In the meantime, until we meet again, my friends, have a great day and God bless.